Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. We are continuing strong with our series on how to install large language models on both Linux and Windows computers. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to install Mistral Small 3.1 on a Linux Ubuntu computer. In our previous tutorial, we explained how to install Mistral Small 3.1 on a Windows machine, and a link to that tutorial will be given in the description below. Since a lot of subscribers and viewers of this YouTube channel are completely new to AI and machine learning, let's first give a brief overview of this model. First of all, the name of the company that created this model is Mistral. It's actually a French company, which can be seen as a competitor of Anthropic, OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, and other companies developing AI technology. Then, as you can see over here, this model belongs to the class of multimodal models. I said multimodal and not multimodal, that is with an O, since multimodal model means that this model can handle both text and images. For example, you can use it as an ordinary large language models, you can ask questions, obtain answers, or you can provide an image and you can ask a question, what is shown in this image, locate the objects in this image, explain this image, etc. Then, according to specs and according to this diagram, Mistral Small 3.1 has the smallest latency compared to these other models, GPT-40, Gemma-3, CLO-3.5, etc. And as you can see over here, it means low, latent, low latency and low cost efficiency. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to run and interact with Mistral Small 3.124b by using this nice graphics user interface. Namely, you will be able to ask questions such as solve a quadratic equation or something similar and you will see the procedure over here. Note that we are running this in LM Studio. However, Mistral Small has several drawbacks. First of all, if you look at the full size model, it's still relatively big, despite the fact they call it small. And most likely you will not be able to install a full model on a GPU with 24 gigabyte of VRAM. I was not able to do that on my NVIDIA 3090 GPU. And consequently, you have to find a quantized model. Consequently, if you go to this Hugging Face repository, Bartowski, Mistral, Mistral Small 3.124b Instruct, you will find quantized versions of Mistral. And here they are. Here it is. This is basically the full model in a BF16 precision. And over here you can see the quantized versions. In this video tutorial, since I have a GPU with 24 gigabyte of VRAM, I can maybe try this model or any model below this model over here, since you can see the size of the model. And this is how much space I need on my GPU to run this model, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so uh, for presentation clarity and brevity, let's install, for example, this model. It's recommended, it has high quality, and it's quantized with Q5KS. Okay, so how to do that? Well, to install this model, we will first install LM Studio on Linux Ubuntu, and then we will be able to run this model by using the graphics user interface. Okay, so let's start with installation. First of all, Google Mistral Small 3.124b, and then type the name Bartowski. This will lead you to this Hugging Face repository over here, and here's the model, or actually the page I previously explained. Let's go down, 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 and let's go to this model over here. So click over here and let's download the model by clicking here. What will happen now is that we will download a GGUF file. A GGUF file is a special five file format that enables us to run this model by using llama.cpp as well as LM Studio. Consequently, let's wait until this file is downloaded. Meanwhile, while this file is being downloaded, let's install LM Studio. While this file is downloading, open Google and search LM Studio Download Linux 
and click on this first web page over here and let's go and let's download the installation file for Linux. Okay, here select your operating system Linux, select the architecture, it should be x86 and let's keep this default version and click over here and now what will happen, we will download another file and let's save this file. And now the file will be downloaded. We can see that both files are being downloaded. The LM Studio installation file might take, I don't know, maybe two minutes. The other one, maybe five minutes. The LM Studio installation file is downloaded. So let's install it. Go here, click on files, go to home. Here in the home folder, create a new folder and call it LM Studio. And let's now copy the file or cut or move the file to this folder. So I'm going to start a new session. Let's do it like this. Let's go to the home folder or actually to the downloads folder. Oops, here it is. And here is LM Studio. Let's cut it to move it. Then let's go over here to our home folder. Double click here and paste the file. Okay, then open the terminal. Let's open the terminal over here and then let's navigate to this file or actually to the folder. Let's go to home, then let's go to LM Studio and here's the file. Next, we need to do several things. First of all, we need to set the proper permissions such that we can run this installation file. Namely over here, you can see that we can read, write, however, we cannot execute. However, to solve this problem, you simply need to type this chmod u plus x and over here you need to specify the name of the file and press enter and now if you type this, you'll see that this file becomes executable. I created a separate video tutorial on how to properly install LM Studio and a link to that tutorial will be given in the description below. Here, I will just perform first part of installation process such that we can run this file. However, additional things that need to be done is to create a desktop shortcut. You can watch that video tutorial in, all, in order to learn how to completely install. And to run this installation file, you just need to type this thing with this option. And here, there is an issue. You will not be able to most likely do this. Consequently, you need to follow a different approach. That different approach is to type this. That is run the file with this parameter app image extract. And now what will happen? A new folder will be created inside of this folder. And in that folder, we're going to, con we're going to uh, see the executable files. Okay, so let's navigate to this new folder. And then in that new folder, we need to run these two commands. These two commands will set the proper permissions to Chrome sandbox file. First, let's do this, enter your password. And after that, type this. Okay, and let's now see Mistral or no, sorry, uh, let's see the executable file. Here it is. So now to run LM Studio, you simply need to type this thing. Okay. And the first time you run LM Studio, several things will be done. There will be several folders that will be created on your local computer. Namely, there will be a secret folder dot called dot LM Studio. In that folder, we will store all the configuration files. First time you see this, skip onboarding, that is click here. And now let's install the model. To install the model, simply click here and you will see where is the folder in which the models are stored. So simply click here, then click here and let's open this in file explorer. And here it is. There is no, there are no models on our system and consequently this folder is empty. So let's create a folder and let's copy the downloaded GGF file to that folder. Here, my advice is to follow a simple convention, namely, we downloaded the file from here and consequently name the folder like this. Copy this name, then go back here, create
create a new folder. Let me see what's happening. Why this thing? Okay, and then let's give it the folder name like this. Here it is. And let's go to that folder and let's copy or move the GGF file to this folder. Consequently, let's go to downloads. Here, here is our mistral.ggf, cut it, then let's go back to our folder, here it is, simply paste the file over here, and that's it. Now magic will happen if you go back to LM Studio. You can either click here or click at the top. Now if you go here, go here, go here, the models are still not being updated. Consequently, let's let me just see the another thing over here. We need to restart LM Studio. So let's do that. Now let's click here to close. Then let's go back to this terminal and then type this again. And let's hopefully now the models will be seen. Let's see where they are. Okay. Refresh. Open in File Explorer. However, there is a model here. However, still Mistral is not able to, actually LM Studio is not able to see this model. Okay, so let's try to do something else. To resolve this problem, we need to use a command line tool. The issue over here is that in Windows you can do this trick and you can manually add models. However, on Linux Ubuntu apparently you need to use the LM Studio command line tool. Okay, not a big deal. So let's go here and let's click open in file explorer then let's go to the model then over here let's do several things first of all we need to get the absolute path of this model do the right click and click on open in terminal and here it is okay now type pwd to get the absolute path here it is we will need that and in addition we will need the name of the model and we will come to that later next open a new terminal go to home, then navigate to .lm studio, then inside you have a binary folder, and inside of the binary folder you have this command line tool called dot or .lms. Okay, so to use this command line tool and to manually index the models, we need to type this. We need to type .lms import that is, we will need to import the model and we just need to specify the absolute path to our GGF file. So here, let's do copy. Let's uh, now go back to this terminal. Let's paste this. And at the end of this command, let's type this. Then go here. Oops, let's not go here. Go to our model, do the right click. Here is the model name. And let's copy this name. Then let's simply go back to the terminal let's go here and then let's paste it over here and that's it simple as that and left if you press enter you have several options to find the models we are not going to auto search hugging face we are going to use interactive import so let's press here who is the creator of the model for example just use your username uh, what is the model name let's just keep it as it is and that's it and let's see what happened now if you now go back to this folder models you will see your username and here's the file amazing this is truly truly nice now what happened is actually that the model is copied from this file or this folder over here and consequently we can simply erase this folder and now if you go to LM Studio bang here it is if you click here you will see the model amazing then click here on chat then click here and load the model by simply clicking here. Now the model is being loaded. Watch here. It's going to take several seconds and let's ask who are you and let's see what happens. Yes, you can see that the model reacts and this is truly, truly amazing. So let's ask a question. For example, let's stop and let's ask how to solve a quadratic equation and let's see over here let's give him a quadratic equation and let's see what will happen and now the model was able to run this and to get our the answer okay and that's it 
Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please pr press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.